everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing very good now since the festive season has started so i thought that i should do a festive look and i should play around with glitters as well so i got two glitter eyeshadows from nika k and i bought it through nika and i'm using the rose gold sort of a shade today for this look i had nothing in my mind so i was just playing around with makeup and this is what i came up and i think it's a very uh, versatile sort of a look that you can play around where then you know you can like um, do experiments with so yeah let's get started so first of all you know how much i love this juicy chemistry uh, mist i'm just going to uh, spray a little on my face and just uh, dab it into my skin to get that uh, hydration and glow and then i'm going to moisturize my face using this plum uh, grapeseed serum i love this stuff it's really good and once that's done i'll let it sit for a few minutes and then i'll move in with my foundation i'm using the l'oreal matte uh, magic foundation i really love this one i'm going to add this uh, liquid illuminator from kiko milano so that uh, it's not extremely matte and gives a little bit of dewy finish as well and then i'm just going to mix the two and you know spray it on my face using my fingers only and i will obviously cover my neck and ears as well now i'm using this uh wig makeup perfecter from yup this particular the white one is not uh, available anymore but you still can get the black one which is really equally good so yeah i'm going to blend the foundation in make sure that your sponge is wet not soaking wet but it's wet so that it helps the foundation really blend in well into the skin and make sure that you're uh, you know covering your ears and you are uh, blending the foundation with your hairline nicely otherwise it can look weird and then using um, this maybelline fit me concealer i'm going to just conceal my under eye circles and uh, yeah i'm going to apply it on the center of my face as well the bridge of my nose um my forehead and my chin around you know the sides of my nose as well so yeah nothing fancy the same old stuff and uh, then i'm going to do my dance that i generally do with concealer on and then i'm just going to blend it all in and yeah that's pretty much it uh, there's no signs over here so yeah I'm going to use the pointed side of the sponge to blend the concealer because the concealer is generally applied on tricky areas and you need more precise sponge for that. And uh, I did leave the concealer under my eyes for you know for some time just to get the maximum coverage and uh, yeah it really helps in you know building up coverage uh, under the eyes if you leave the uh, concealer for some time and it really helps so yep then i'm going to set my concealer and uh, my face very lightly with this la girl uh, you know translucent powder i i like this stuff it's good but i don't use it a lot i mostly use it during my videos only so yeah i i like it actually And then I'm going to do my eyebrows with this Wet n Wild eyebrow kit. I love this thing. I'm definitely going to repurchase this once I run out of it. It's the best eyebrow thing I've ever used. I love it so much. I have gifted one to my mom as well. This is really good, really, really good. And then I'm going to use the same uh, concealer, you know, to conceal my eyelids and also clean the shape of my eyebrows a little bit. My um, I I'm just growing them so they are all bushy and stuff and I I personally love thick eyebrows so I don't mind them but yeah a lot of good people tell me that you have like too thick eyebrows but I think it's okay I love them so yeah then I'm going to set my eyelid concealer with the fit me powder I love this stuff as well this is something that I use on almost on a daily basis if I am stepping out and I need to do some sort of makeup that's what I put on my face and then for my eyes, I'm going to use my the love of my life, the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to use the warm taupe shade first and, you know, start building it up around the outer corners and my crease. And um, it's a pretty shade. You can wear it all alone as well. And it looks really nice. Okay, so blending is the key, guys. You know, we cannot show the entire blending process on camera but you need to take your time okay and you need to slowly build the colors and blend them together 
and then I'm using this burnt orange color right in my crease and then I'm blending with a fluffier brush. I'm using a precise brush to put the color and then a fluffy brush to blend it. And then I'm using this uh, red ochre which is a really pretty shade and I'm going to intensify the inter uh, you know outer corners and the crease as well and I'm going to build up on the colors one by one. Then I changed my brush because I wasn't happy with the intensity and you can see the difference this brush would make. So I I'm actually, you know, packing the color with the second brush and I'm then blending it again with the first fluffy brush that we used. You do not really have to use tons of brushes. So just practice will help you understand, you know, how you can multitask with the brushes. And I think that's pretty cool that, you know, with a few brushes, you can really get an amazing eye makeup look. So yeah, keep blending, blending, blending. <laughs> And then on the centers and inner corners, I'm going to apply this really pretty shade. I love this one. I forgot the name. I think it's Vermeer or I, I don't know. But I'll uh, leave it here in the description bar. And then again, just blend it nicely. Um, <laughs> all uh, the same old thing. Apply, blend, apply, blend. That's the rule. And then I'm going to intensify the shade a little more because when you blend, the intensity tends to, you know, fade away. And it's okay if you're not precise with your uh, finger application. You can obviously blend it any day. So, yeah. Once that's done, I'm going to blend again. Make sure that my crease looks perfect and, you know, the outer corners uh, shade looks perfect and everything is in place. Because after that, we are going to apply glitter. And once that's done, we won't be able to change a lot of things. Because glitter, or you know, you know the chances of messing up with glitters are way higher. Then I'm using this Nikake Rose Gold uh, Glitter. I forgot the name, but I'll mention it in the description bar. It's a really pretty rose gold glitter and looks so amazing. I was wearing this one all alone in my on a box unboxing video and I loved it. It's a really pretty um, glitter eyeshadow. If you guys are not into eye makeup but still want to do something for the festive season, I think you can do it with this. Now, once the glitter sets down, I'm going to again intensify the outer corners because I thought that something was missing. So yeah, and I'm going to use the red ochre and burnt orange shades for my lower lash line. I will first closely pack the red ochre shade and then I'm going to smudge it very slightly with the burnt orange color. And yeah, that's pretty much about my eyes actually. Oh no, there's something left. I will be putting up eyelashes and then I will be doing a very slight wing liner just to cover up the lash band and you know, give more precision to my eyes and anyways I feel like in, in um you know during festive season adding a pop of color not not pop of color but an eyeliner and of course pop of colors it's it's important so yeah my lashes are done I use the pack two and three and um, I use the miniso uh, clamp to put my lashes and then I'm just using this l'oreal um L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner to create a little wing and I'm going to use this Gigi Hadid um, Mascara just to you know uh, blend my natural lashes with the fake lashes and then I'm going to use the same mascara for my lower lash line as well. I love this mascara. It can be a little tricky to use but if you get the hold of it I think it's a pretty good mascara and I love it and I might repurchase it as well but I am still contemplating on that part. So yeah, then I'm going to use this shade and I'm going to highlight the brow bone and then I'm going to highlight the inner corners with the same shade as well. This is my uh, favorite shade to highlight because it's not shimmery, it's not matte. It's something in between. It has very slight flexes of shimmer which doesn't really show up but it looks really good. You know, I don't know if I'm explaining it right but yeah. So that's that and then I'm going to apply the same thing on the inner corners. I'm not going blinding on my inner corners just a little bit you know just to make my eyes look open and then I'm using this Lakme Moonlit uh, Duo and I'm going to use only the bronzer from this one and I'm going to bronze up my face really nicely uh, yeah it's a red, little reddish and has shimmer in it so you know you can pick any bronzer that you love actually then I'm using this Body Shop a Bubblegum um, Blush Although I did change my blush, not change, I cover, uh, layered up my blush later on, I'll just let you know. And then I'm using this uh, Makeup Revolution uh, Shimmer Brick. I love this highlighter, but I still feel that I should have used the uh, Mary Luminizer. I think that looks amazing for the festive season. 
but yeah even this one looks good this can be intimidating i have mixed all the colors but you can you know play around and you can do whatever you like but yeah even i like this one as well so yep that's uh about the face and then moving on to the lips i'm using this uh sugar cosmetics secret suede uh matte lip color color in plush pink which is a beautiful versatile color and would look good with so many skin tones however i wanted to put another lipstick but i could not find it so i am putting this up and i think this actually looked pretty good over the eye looks so yeah uh actually this matches with the outer corner color in a way and i really like this formula it's not very drying but it's obviously not as long lasting as smudge me not but i still love uh, this range as well it completely depends on you know your preference if you are okay with touching up i think it's perfect then digging into my next sweet cheeks palette i'm going to layer up my blush and i think this looks so much better this has given so much color to the cheeks and it has you know brought the look together so yeah uh, then i'm just going to you know add a Uh, bindi and a pair of uh, earrings to the look, and that's my festive look ready. Um, yeah, that's all about this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and let me know what all colors you want me to play around with in the coming videos, and I will do so. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Till then, bye bye. Take care. I love you so much. Mwah.